man who got out of his car in traffic to yell at me. This actually happened in May, but I still think about it and it freaks me the heck out that people have so much rage in them over trivial shit. I was driving down a pretty busy street after getting gas. It was probably like 4.30 p.m. and the sun was still shining bright. I'm doing about 38 miles per hour and all of a sudden I get cut off by a big white lifted truck going maybe closer to 45. I have to hit the brakes because he swerves right in front of me in the middle of moderate traffic and I honk to basically let him know that that's a shit move. As we both drive about a half mile down the road, we come to a stoplight. This is where shit gets scary. This guy, maybe early 50s, overweight Mexican with a graying buzz cut, gets out of the truck and is yelling and waving his hands at me, getting closer to my car. I crack the window very slightly just so I can hear what he's saying. He's screaming about how if I'm so bothered by him, why don't I get out of the car and do something about it? I'm pretty flabbergasted because I'm a 5 foot 5 woman, about 25 years younger than him. And homeboy has no qualms about yelling obscenities at me, including one in which he threatens to snatch me up out of my car. When someone says they're going to snatch you up, it means beat the hell out of you. A grown ass man, making very gruff, violent threats to a female much younger than him. In broad daylight, with several people obviously watching. Yet, they don't help or get involved in any way. Super jerks. By this time, my window's back up and I'm recording him and getting his plates. He sees this, yet is not phased or compelled to stop. He continues to scream and works himself to such a point that he's turned a deep purple. As he sees cars in front of him moving, he jumps back into his truck and takes off. I make it a point to turn in a direction I don't need to in order to try to lose him. After I go around a block in a neighborhood, I turn back onto the busy street and into my own neighborhood. But who is there waiting for me? I don't know how he saw me, but at this point I'm freaking out, and for very good reason. He guns the gas and comes right towards me like one would do when playing chicken, veering off at the last second to avoid collision. He then attempts to turn around at the end of the block. I am now going 55 miles per hour right through a school zone and a residential area just to get the fuck away from him. For a split second, I think about heading towards the police station, which is on the other side of town, but I'm so freaked out I don't care. I see his truck go down the next street. I dial the police and put them on speaker as I'm driving out to the next nearest busy street. They're pretty quick to assist a damsel in distress, and within about a minute and a half, I see a patrol car coming towards me. I pull over and wait still glancing over my shoulder to see if Psycho Buzzcut is still following me, but I don't see him. I don't want to drive to my house because I hella don't want this guy knowing where I live. At all. The cops pull up and take more info from me, and I show them the video and photos I took of him on his rant and of his truck with plates. The cop inside the car enters the info I gave, and says I don't have to worry too much because he lives in another city. Like that's going to stop him from being a crazy dick. They said they put an alert out to surrounding cops to pull this dude over if they see him, and tell him basically they know what he did, and that he can't fucking harass people because that's childish and insane. Something to that effect anyway. I'm still trying to calm myself down and stop crying. 
I'm also trying to make a phone call to my mom because after something like that happens, you feel like you need your mom to tell you it's all right. The cops say they'll follow me to my house and I'm happy for that. Once we get there, the cop I spoke to said they found the guy and pulled him over. Not sure if that really happened or if he just said that to make me feel better. Either way, crazy ass road rage lifted truck dude. Let's never, ever meet again. I think a nun tried to steal my baby. My stepfather is an idiot. He is an ex-alcoholic and drug addict who is heavily involved in several Catholic churches and the local AA community. AA stands for Alcoholics Anonymous for those who don't know. The drugs and alcohol must have seriously fried his brain because he still has really bad judgment and decision-making skills, especially when it comes to people. He has brought so many sketchy people into my life. Thank God nothing serious happened. I get it. He's trying to help others who are struggling with the same battle he went through, and maybe he is making a difference in some people's lives but he's been bringing these kinds of people into my life since I was four years old. Some of them even lived with us for a while. I had kids young. I was 20 when I had my son and 23 when I had my daughter. When my son had his first birthday, my stepdad and mom retired. My mom had me when she was 40. Going on mission trips with their church and moving to another state they started working with this Catholic organization that specifically helps people who struggle with alcohol and drug addictions. The church gave them housing among their nuns and priests and paid them a small amount of money to buy food and necessities while they worked with them. One year, around Christmas time, my parents came home for the holiday and brought an older nun with them. She was probably in her 50s. My family got together and went to a Santa's workshop, which was super crowded. My mom, stepdad, their nun friend, and my sisters and their kids came too. My daughter was about six months old, maybe less. She is a beautiful red-headed baby. I have received many comments from family and strangers on how beautiful she is and her red hair are and it probably had a few other stories of people who don't understand personal boundaries regarding children. The nun was immediately taken by how beautiful my baby is and kept touching her, talking to her and wanting to hold her. It was immediately uncomfortable because this was my first time meeting her. Also, she wasn't acting this way with any of the other children that were with us. My son, who was a three-year-old at the time and has since been diagnosed with ADHD, was a handful and running all over the place, getting into everything. It's so hard going places with him and her without their dad. He didn't come with us because he was most likely working. So I think I was distracted because my son was getting into something he wasn't supposed to, and I let go of the stroller for a second and this nun immediately took it. She told me she would give me a break and since she was a friend of my parents and my family was all around us, I decided to let this nun push my daughter in the stroller. Another incident happened where my son was getting into something and I was distracted again for less than a minute. And when I turned back around, the nun and my daughter were gone. I freaked out and my whole family was still around me and no one knew where this nun went. She didn't say anything to anyone about leaving. My family and I immediately started looking everywhere. Luckily there was so many of us and found the nun at the front of the building right near the exit. 
It was terrifying. When we found her, she said she was just taking my daughter on a stroll. I decided to leave right after that happened, and so did everyone else in my family. And luckily, I haven't seen her since. So, yeah, creepy old nun that knows my parents. Let's not meet again. Edit. I posted this as a comment response, but somebody suggested I add it to my post. I forgot to mention some of the weird comments the nun had made to me. How if she hadn't become a nun and had children, she imagined they would look just like my daughter, because red hair runs in her family. Another small but interesting detail is my oldest sister, who was there too, with her three kids, also had a baby girl who was only a couple months old at the time. I don't understand why the nun latched onto my daughter in particular, other than her having red hair. Is hair color that big of a deal? Or would it have been because I was a young mother and didn't have their father with me? Update. I called my mom today and asked a few questions about the nun. I believe she legitimately is a nun. She worked with their organization and was introduced to them by another nun and priest they know. She frequently worked with them when they lived in Maryland, setting up retreats and meetings for addicts. At one point, the nun had planned to go on a mission trip with my mother, but something came up and it didn't happen. My mom and stepdad moved around a lot during their retirement and haven't talked to her since they left Maryland, which was about two or three years ago. They recently moved back home and left that organization and my stepfather works for a whole new one, doing similar work, and my mom is fully retired. My mom doesn't think that there was anything weird about the situation, that it was no big deal that the nun took my daughter on a stroll and didn't think to tell anyone where she was going. I haven't seen her since because she still lives in Maryland. My parents don't even talk to her anymore, and I actively try to avoid people my parents hang around.